वेलकम डे स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टूडे हम नाउ टेकिंग ए क्लास अकाउंटेंसी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट any problem now i am audio well sneha right now your chat box mar nets flow okay this is a technical problem now today now discuss about your bst project i think i think you know what is the bst project today now discuss the somosia bst project okay last class must attend to it okay now you must attend to it okay thank you now now i am always already discuss financial statement trading account balance sheet now format of the trading account already written on okay from the following balance prepare trading account for the rn date right now <coughs> the problem from the following balances from the following balances on the following balances prepare trading account prepare from the following balances prepare trading account trading account of mrs of mrs adhmaram Mr. Admaram and Sons for the year ended for the year ended 31st March 2019. 31st March 2019. now david opening stock 20000 opening stock 20000 purchases Thirty-five thousand sales, sixty thousand sales return, sales return four thousand, purchase return. One thousand 
wages 6000 trade One hundred coal and coal, gas and water, coal, gas and water, coal, gas and water. One thousand import duty. Import duty. Two thousand carriage, carriage. Two thousand <coughs> closing stock, closing stock. Eighteen thousand. opening stock purchase sales this is the problem opening stock opening stock purchase sales sales return purchase return wages freight coal gas water import duty carriage closing stock okay from the following balances people trading a penny account for mrs anwar anwar sort for the rnd rakho Two parches, two parches, thirty-five thousand. Less return, less return, one thousand. Thirty-four thousand. Two wages. Six thousand to freight. To freight, one hundred. All all are debit. To coal, gas, and water direct expenses. To coal, gas, and water. To coal, gas, and water, one thousand. To import duty. To import duty, two thousand. To import two thousand to carriage two thousand. To carriage two thousand. Buy sales. Buy sales. Sixty thousand less return inward 
return inward let's return inward 1000 no sorry 4000 56000 56000 buy closing stock Eighteen thousand total seventy four thousand total seventy four thousand gross profit eight thousand nine hundred so two gross profit transfer to profit and loss account two gross profit two gross profit within bracket transfer to profit and loss account 8900 now trading trading a problem also opening stock all direct expenses are comes on debit side all you know direct expenses means which expenses are directly related to products direct expenses opening stock purchase less return outward return outward or purchase return same thing return outward okay to wages to freight to coal gas and water to import duty to carriage to gross profit now carry side by sales less return inward 4000 56000 by closing stock 18000 the 56 plus 18 74000 and total now gross profit 8900 clear Next problem. Calculate problem to calculate cost of goods sold, cost of good sold from the following information from the following cost of goods sold from the following information. Cost of goods sold from the following information. Net purchase two lakh forty thousand. Sales two lakh sorry. Sales two lakh forty thousand. Net purchase. Net purchase. One lakh, one lakh forty four thousand direct expenses, direct expenses thirty seven thousand two hundred indirect expenses, indirect, indirect expenses. 30,400 sales return sales return 24,000 
ओपनिंग इन्वेंट्री ओपनिंग ओपनिंग इन्वेंट्री थर्टी टू थाउजेंड क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री Closing inventory fifty six thousand. Now <coughs> calculate the cost of goods from the following information: sales two lakh forty thousand, net purchase one lakh forty four thousand, direct expenses thirty seven thousand two hundred, indirect expenses thirty thousand four hundred, sales return twenty four thousand. In opening inventory thirty two thousand, closing inventory fifty six thousand. Now, cost of goods sold. Cost of cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is equal to opening inventory. Opening inventory plus net purchases plus net purchases. Opening inventory plus net purchases plus direct expenses. Direct expenses minus closing inventory minus closing inventory. Clear. The cost of goods sold is equal to opening inventory plus net purchases plus direct expenses minus minus closing inventory is equal to thirty two thousand plus one lakh net purchases one lakh forty four thousand plus thirty seven thousand two hundred minus fifty six thousand. Is equal to rupees one lakh fifty seven thousand two hundred. Remember this cost of goods sold now. The formula opening op opening inventory plus net purchases plus direct expenses minus closing inventory. Then that is thirty two thousand plus one lakh forty four thousand thirty seven thousand two hundred minus fifty six thousand rupees one lakh fifty seven thousand two hundred. Okay. Next, calculate cost of goods sold. Calculate problem three. Calculate. Cost of calculate the cost of calculate the cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold and the value of closing stock and the value of closing stock value of value of closing stock from the following information. From the following information, from the following information, opening stock rupees one lakh ten thousand purchased during the year purchases six lakh forty thousand. Six lakh forty thousand. Freight and carriage. Freight and carriage. Freight and carriage. Twenty thousand. Sales. Twenty thousand. 
goods are sold at a profit goods are sold at a profit goods are sold at a profit of 20% on cost of 20% on cost 20% on cost so now <coughs> problem calculate the cost of goods sold and the value of closing value of the closing stock from the following information value of the closing stock from the following information opening stock rupees 1 lakh 10000 purchases rupees 6 lakh 40000 freight and carriage 20000 sales sales rupees 20000 Pre-order and carry sales rupees eight lakh forty thousand. Sorry, sales rupees eight lakh forty thousand. Eight lakh forty thousand. Goods are sold at a profit rupees twenty percent cost. Goods are sold at a profit twenty percent cost. So now. Twenty percent on cost. Goods, solid goods, goods sold at a profit. Twenty percentage on twenty percent on cost. So we know that we know that cost cost plus profit is equal to selling price. Cost plus profit is equal to cost plus profit is equal to selling price. Now goods sold at a profit twenty percent on cost. So twenty percent on cost means cost hundred plus profit twenty selling price one twenty. 20% on cost 20% 20% on cost means the profit 20 cost 100 now this is now we now the 20% on on means cost 100 on cost means cost rupees 100 on sales means sales rupees 100 okay you remember this cost plus profit is equal to selling price now if sales if sales 120 then cost Rupees one hundred. So if sales, if sales eight lakh forty thousand, eight lakh forty thousand is equal to next eight lakh forty thousand into hundred by one twenty is equal to rupees seven lakh. Now. Cost of goods sold. This is cost of cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold means sales minus gross profit. Cost of goods sold means sales minus gross profit. Cost of goods sold seven lakh. Calculation calculation of closing stock. The now cost of goods sold at a profit 20 percent cost. The cost profit cost plus profit is equal to selling price. The 100 plus 20 is equal to 120. 100 plus 20 is equal to 120. If sales 120, then cost rupees 100. If sales 8 lakh 40,000, the cost goods sold 8 lakh 40 to 100 by 120. The cost of goods sold 7 lakh. Now calculation of closing stock. Calculation of closing stock. Calculation of calculation for closing closing stock. Calculation for closing stock. The closing stock <coughs> closing stock is equal to opening stock plus purchase. Closing stock is equal to Opening stock plus purchase 
plus purchases plus direct expenses direct expenses minus cost of goods sold minus cost of goods sold is equal to rupees 1 lakh 10000 plus 6 lakh 40000 plus 20000 minus 7 lakh is equal to rupees 70000 Calculation of closing stock. The closing stock is equal to opening stock plus purchase plus direct expenses minus cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold means sales minus gross profit. Cost of goods sold means sales minus cost of goods sold means sales minus gross profit. Okay. The closing stock is equal to opening stock plus purchase plus direct expenses minus cost of goods sold. Is equal to rupees one lakh ten thousand plus six lakh forty thousand plus twenty thousand minus seven lakh. Is equal to rupees seventy thousand. clear next problem net sales during the year net sales during the year net sales during the year in year 2000 19 is rupees 2 lakh 85000 gross profit gross profit gross profit is 25 percentage gross profit on sales 25 percentage on sales find the cost of find out the cost of goods sold find out the find out the cost of goods sold find out the cost of goods sold now net sales during the year 2019 is rupees 2 lakh 85000 net sales during the year year 2019 is rupees 2 lakh 85000 gross of is 25% on sales Find out the cost of goods sold. Find out the cost of goods sold. Net sales during the year 2019 to like 85,000 gross of 25,000 sales. Find out the cost of goods sold. Now, the cost of gross profit is equal to. gross profit is equal to 2 lakh 85000 into 25 by 100 is equal to rupees 71250 gross profit is equal to 2 lakh 85000 into 25 by 100 71250 The cost of goods sold is equal to cost of goods sold is equal to two lakh eighty five thousand minus two lakh eighty five thousand minus seventy one thousand two fifty two lakh. Thirteen thousand seven fifty. 
क्लियर नाउ गॉस ऑफ़ टू लग एटी फाइव थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव बी हंड्रेड रुपीस सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड वन फिफ्टी कॉस्ट ऑफ़ गुड्स ऑल रुपीस टू लग एटी फाइव थाउजेंड माइनस सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड वन फिफ्टी रुपीस टू लग थर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवेन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी Okay, thank you. So this is now in my class. See you again the next class. Okay, thank you.